How's it going guys? Dre here and today I am super excited to be sharing Windbound with you. Now Windbound is a new seafaring survival game where you are shipwrecked on an uncharted island and you must explore and navigate the dangerous seas to survive. You play as a female named Kara, a warrior who was caught out at sea during a fierce storm and you unfortunately drifted away from your tribe and you must now use all your skills to survive the elements. Now, Deep Silver was nice enough to sponsor this video, so I want to thank them for supporting the channel. If at any time during the video you want to know more about Windbound, I'll have a link at the top of the video description where you can check it out. Windbound is available now on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Steam, Epic Game Store, and Google Stadia. What you're seeing on the screen right now, by the way, is an introduction to the game, and this one I am so excited for, guys. I think you guys know I love my survival games, and more specifically, I love my seafaring survival games, and this one looks fantastic. I should also mention it's procedurally generated, so all the islands are unique, and the boat building looks absolutely fantastic. You have to deal with things like gravity, buoyancy, and drag, and you actually do everything by hand, so it's like actually sailing from what I understand. So yeah, we're gonna get out there, try and survive, and see how long we can last in Windbound. Alright, so here we are starting our adventure, and this is one that I am truly excited about. Uh, I've been following this game for a while now, and I haven't looked up too much, by the way. When it comes to survival games, I like to go in with a little bit of blind eyes, because I think this genre especially, you know, le the learning aspect is very entertaining, um, and it's a big aspect of what makes survival games so great. So yeah, I'm gonna be learning with you guys how to survive, and hopefully it's a successful one, because right now I think we're dead. Uh, oh, okay, no, <laughs> we're, we're at least alive for right now. But yeah, here we are, marooned on our starting island, and uh, we have a whole sea to explore, and well, for right now, we got a land to explore. Ah, the Lost Islands, Chapter 1, here we go. Alright, so as per usual, at the start of survival games, what I like to do is, you know, grab everything I possibly can, because that's how you unlock things. So, we got thick grass, we got rocks, we're living large right now. Okay, what do we have up ahead? Ooh, I like the climbing animations, and I love this art style. It's kind of realistic, but cartoony. And up ahead, I think I see, yes, I see some hog-like creatures. Now, can I swim yet? Hopefully I can swim. Oh, Jesus, that actually hurt me. Okay, so I either fall damage is extremely ag aggressive, or she doesn't like water. I think she's fine with the water. I think I, I hit my legs there. So now I know, don't fall, Jesus. Love how I'm two seconds into the game and I've already damaged myself and it doesn't seem to replenish. So that's worrying. I'm a little scared to go see these dudes. I don't know if they're aggressive or not, but they look to be like hogs. Hello. Oh yeah, they're, they're so adorable. Is this your nest? All right, well, at least they don't want to eat me, so that's good. Um, I'm looking for some food though. I know we're gonna need food, obviously. Uh, obviously they can possibly be food, but I don't think it's a good idea to attack them just yet. We have this shrine thing up here, but I just saw another adorable creature. Look at this thing prancing! Oh my god, is it hiding? Oh, look at the ears! You are so cute! Let me stab you! Come here! Oh, uh, co come on! Oh! Oh! Okay, I feel so bad. I mean, I kind of need to eat, but I didn't expect to, cute th to kill the cute thing! You gave me feathers? Oh, fronds. Carving through air? Interesting, so can we fly, or is that for like, sails? Now, can I dig in here? Okay, well clearly that was its home, but I learned a new recipe, the bone shovel, so I like that. You actually have to, um, find the materials that utilize the tools to unlock the tools, so that's cool. Ooh, we got some mushrooms. I don't know if I should eat that or not, I mean it's a fungus. Okay, so yeah, health and hunger, so... We'll have to pay attention to that. I don't know if all foods are the same, but I'm seeing some berry things over here, too. Okay, so that just replenishes stamina. Okay, it's a good thing I saw that. So, if we need health, which we do right now, we may as well eat the, um, mushrooms. Actually, l l let's wait until we're actually hungry, because our stamina bar is still full. Alright, let's go see what this, uh, shrine that's moaning at me is going to give me. Because, you know, shrines always give you some sort of item. And, oh, a cutscene. Alright, what is it? Looks like some sort of tool, obviously, with some sort of gem inside it. Don't touch it, you'll die! Wouldn't that be great if it did, and then it's just game over already? But no! My necklace glows! Oh, it floats. Okay. That is super special. The hell? Oh! It's an ore! That's the most fabulous ore I've ever seen. Okay, and we got some more shrines right behind that to explore, so I'm thinking these shrines are going to be a common occurrence in this game. I can see two more. 
Uh, mysterious ore, through ancient, it remains in perfect condition. Occasionally it trembles in your hands as if something resides within. It's the spirit of our dead grandfather or something like that. But yeah, we have boat building now, so that's exciting. All right, so let's get into the crafting here. I haven't done anything yet, but um, yeah, it looks like, oops, I accidentally made some of that, but that's fine. We're gonna need grass rope anyways. Oh, and that unlocked palm bags. Add seven extra slots to my inventory. Well, we're not having inventory issues just yet, so I'm gonna wait for that. We, got, we can get the bone shovel. We need Gorehorn Crest and Bones. I haven't gotten any of that yet, so I'm not too worried about that. Ooh, Grass Sling. Yes, please. Let's get a weapon. That'd be smart, especially at the start. Stick Spear I saw there. Oh, now we got more things. Oh, this is fun. The more I do, the more I unlock. So Scatter Rocks, that's a type of sling ammo. Leather Sling, probably a better sling. And we need sticks to make a spear, so we're not gonna make that just yet. And it looks like this is going to be our, our boat crafting area. It looks like right now we can just make the grass canoe, but we need rope for that. That's fine, that's something I've made before. I'm kind of a professional now. Okay, so we're starting off with a simple canoe. Now you can obviously build sails and everything in this game. I think you can kind of limitlessly build. But you gotta start somewhere, and it looks like push. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't do that. We have to get on first, that's kind of the point. There we go, but it looks like you can probably just push it offshore if you land it into shore. Oh, we got fish! Of course we got fish, but uh, that's exciting. And man, I am so excited to explore the seas. I wonder how the weather is gonna be out there. That's what I'm really curious about. We'll have to figure that out later, though, because that was the quickest seafaring adventure ever. It was like 50 feet, maybe. So that looks like a staircase, obviously. Um, I'm a little scared, being that we had such aggressive fall damage at the start, and I'm kind of notorious for falling off things. I think this 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 could be my death right here, even. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, please, please grab it. Is this not the right way? All right, well, we're making our way up. The scary part's getting back down without, you know, falling. That's gonna be fun, but I think, yes, indeed, we did it. Now, what is that? A shell with a button that makes blue things come out of it. Oh, it turns into, it goes into my shell, okay. The hunter ensnares her prey. Wait, did I ensnare something? One of three. Okay, so what I assume this is, I'm not for, I, I, I don't know for sure, Nautilus key. Okay, so that's how we unlock possibly chapter two. We gotta get all three? It resonates with a mysterious power, an arcane relic from a bygone era. Okay, well, what the hell is that in the distance? You see that creepy thing? There's like eyes on it. All right, and there we go. Now, I am a little peckish right now, so we may we may as well eat that meat that I got, or sorry, the mushrooms that I got. Um, ooh, that didn't heal me too much. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to heal soon. <laughs> I'm still not full health. All right, well, I'm seeing a little island over there. It's, it does look like it might start to storm out, but I really gotta start exploring this place quickly because I don't have much food. So I guess we'll go out to this little thing. It kind of looks like the storm is wrapped all around here. So I'm assuming if we stay in this area, we're okay. I mean, should I go out to the creepy island? I see it has palm trees on it. Palm trees usually mean life. Oh man, this is so freaking peaceful though. I am so excited to just explore the seas again. I love seafaring games. I don't even know if this is anything out here. I really hope there's not like monsters now that I think about it, because I'm going out into the deep right now and it's getting dark and creepy. Oh, sick, there's a map I didn't even notice. Okay, so I think I did assume correctly though. Chapter one is within the storm area. And, um, thank God there's a map. Um, I have to find all these different points. Hello, rock formation. Is there anything of interest here? I'm actually really scared to jump off this because it's really wavy here. Oh, there's just something there. Um, can I get up here? Okay, kind of. Oh God, this might be a bad idea. Okay, I am, I am marooned here. Let's do this quick. What the heck, smash, smash it. Okay, sea shards. Well, that's exciting. Let's get back on my canoe before this thing floats away. Um, will I be able to row off this? There we go. Oh my god, I love the waves. Come on, waves! Help me! Thank you! So yeah, let's uh, head over to this giant creepy island over here. I need to get out of this, like, deep sea, though. I feel like I need a little bit of a bigger boat before I get too ballsy out here. Oh no, my berries degrade?! Oh, that's not good. That was the one food I had left. Hopefully there's something on this island. Now I am seeing there's coral here. Oh, that's so pretty. I haven't figured out how to dive though. I can just swim on the top. I'm 
really tried, though, to be fair. I'm kind of scared of water, if you don't know about me. Okay, I really need a digging tool, because we have something else there that we can possibly dig. Any palm or coconuts? I don't see any. Man, where's the food at? Oh, something big is sleeping up there. Oh, God, please don't see me, my, my dude. There's, like, arrows here. Oh, no, those aren't arrows. That's... Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is your island, not mine. I'm just looking for food. Koji berries. Okay, go get them. Okay. And would you look at that? That's got to be the second one. Now we just got to get off this island without dying. Um, not sure if it was worth it to come all the way. Oh, Jesus. Hello, dude. You don't see me, right? I should probably crouch just in case. Dude, just keep sleeping. Yeah, definitely not screwing with that guy. So I think we should head back to our original area and hunt those small pig-like creatures. Because I think that's my only chance of getting some decent food. Okay, wish I didn't have to do this, but man's gotta eat. Actually, we got this little guy coming. You know what? This would be a much easier target. Let's see if we can maybe hit this guy. Oh, you're so lucky. You didn't hear it. You didn't hear it. No! Oh, damn it, and there it goes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, don't, don't you do it, don't you do it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, well, at least I get my rocks back. Okay, I can't even make these scatter uh, shots because I need a hammer for that, and I need a stick and a gorehorn crest for that. So we are going into this kind of in survival mode right now, just trying to get any sort of kill I possibly can. So we got these two over there. I definitely don't want to go for the big guy. Let's see if we can maybe sneak up to these guys. And I really hope they don't both attack me. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, come on. All right, there's one gone. I don't know if they're stuck over there or what. But that was a lot easier than expected. I, I guess they were just chilling. I honestly have no idea. But I'm not complaining because I was way too worried about that, clearly. Please give me meat. I need meat. Is this meat? This is not meat. This is skin. I mean, I have the bone at least. I know I needed that for something, but I need food! Alright, was able to get the razor back down. He actually wasn't too bad. That's what I like to see! Raw meat! Okay, so we're gonna have to probably cook that. See if we can maybe get this final guy. I feel bad. I killed the whole family. Come on, buddy. It's okay. You know what? I'm just gonna let him chill out a little bit. He's running all over the place, but I did see that we have some berries over here too. So we're not as bad as I thought. Let's eat that. But really, berries don't do much for me right now. And um, I'm hoping once I cook this meat, I think there was a fire in here. No, you know what? I don't have a fire yet, and I don't feel safe uh, eating raw meat. So I know there is a fire. I got to figure out how to get that, though. I'm assuming it's by a stick. Still haven't found a stick. Now, there's, there's trees on that other island over there. So let's make a mad dash over to that. And see if that will maybe give us what we need. Oh, yeah, this is looking... Oh, why didn't I come here sooner? We got digging spots everywhere. Still got to figure out how to get the palm trees. Um, that's what I need right there. I guarantee it. That thing sticking out of the ground. We got some pigs here, too. Okay, give me that stick. How do, how do, I, how do I grab it? Oh, no inventory space. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, God. Look who's here. Great. Just everybody's here. What? That's fantastic. I just want to give myself inventory. So, oh, I need palm fronds! Why did I, I didn't think I needed palm fronds. Okay, well, I guess hopefully we can figure that out soon. All right, so I'm gonna have to drop... Man, you really don't get much inventory space in this. I'm gonna have to drop this to get the stick. Um, okay, thin length of wood, cornerstone of any survivalist toolkit. Good. Yes! That's what I assumed we needed it for, is the fire. Okay, we can even make a drying rack out of this. We don't have sticks to do that, obviously, though. So we're just gonna cook the meat and possibly get some more meat. I'm a little worried with that big guy there, though. Oh my god, I like that it just chills there. Do I have to wait? Oh yeah, it does take some time. That's okay, though. Uh, oh, oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh, is he, is he alerted by the fire? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, what do I do? I'm just trying to survive. I really don't want to screw with you. All right, you know what? This guy's sleeping. I might be able to slice him. There we go. There we go. Wake him up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Get him. Get him. Got him. Oh, he hit me hard. 
There we go. Get him. Knock him down. That's right, you little jerk. Rather big jerk, actually. Um, okay, I need to get off. You, you can target the people you're fighting, which is fantastic. And it looks like we get meat after every, after every one of those. This dude is just chilling around those ropes. He's like, somebody was here. I'm definitely not going to go back for those. Okay, let's get that steak in me. Roasted delicately. Use. Oh, please go all the way up. Oh, that that's it? Okay, food is going to be aggressive in this game. That's fine. I've hunted another one now, so let's get that done. At least it heals us too. If I could find a bunch of berries, that'd be fantastic. All right, let's try and go around this guy and uh, go up to this tower, because that's the third one. We should unlock maybe more of the world after that, or at least we'll see what happens. Plus, we can get some more sticks. I think, oh, actually, I can get a spear with this stick, I think. Uh, go to the inventory here. Yes! So I can make a spear, and then I can make a bone tip spear if I can figure out leather. All right, here we are with our third. Now, what did those shards do for me? Did they give me anything? Because I've been collecting those shards now. I'm not really sure. Well, there's the third one. Let's see what happens now. Nothing. Huh. Well, I didn't expect that. So, I don't really know what we gotta do from here, but obviously, we have a lot to explore to find that out. Alright, so let's drop these skins. Um, and delicately roasted meat. I guess I'll eat it now, just to, um, obviously we, ha we don't have enough inventory space, so I wanna keep the skins, because that's definitely how we get leather. And at least, we're basically back to square one in terms of survival. Um, yeah, we got our full bars almost, which is good. Got a few items, we got a basic ship. Well, canoe, that's well, not a ship at all. But yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking th of this. I personally absolutely love this game, and I definitely want to check out some more of it. I wonder if we actually unlocked more of the map with those three. We clearly have to unlock something with the key, that is. So hopefully we can find that in the next episode, guys, if you guys are enjoying this, of course. So once again, if you want to know anything more about this game, I'll have a link at the top of the description. Thanks so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.